Come, come. Look what I made. Now watch this. Hey guys, welcome to Hamster Workshop. As you can see, I made a wireless PC power button right over here. I also made a wired version which is a bit cheaper. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can make one for yourself. Okay, let's get started. For our project today, I bought two buttons from Amazon. A 12mm one with 4 wires. And a 22mm one with 6 wires. Now let's take a closer look. For the smaller button, you can see there are 4 wires. And if you remove the wire cap, you can find the terminals. Two of them are connected to the button light in the front and the other two are for the load. These load terminals are not connected unless you press the button in and that's why they are marked as an O which stands for normally open. The bigger guy has 6 terminals, 4 of them are the same as the smaller button and the two additional terminals are marked as N C. We will not be using them for our project. Now there is one thing to be careful of and that is the LED terminals. They have defined a positive and negative ends and we need to wire them correctly for the light to work. Because both of the buttons are specified to work with 12 volts, I want to test them with 5 volts to see if they can work directly with the motherboard and our microcontroller later on. Using my old Adreno board as a simple power supply, I tested the small button first. As you can see, it lit up just fine with 5 volt and even worked with 3.3 volts as well. And the bigger button worked as well. The light is slightly dimmer when we use 3.3 volts, but it's not a big issue. Because these buttons can be used directly with 5 volt, a wild power button becomes rather easy to make. All we need to do is to solder some jumper pins to the wire so it can be plugged onto the motherboard. If the button is to be placed far away from the motherboard, however, extra wires may be needed. Remember to measure the length of the wires needed if you decide to make one yourself. It is also important to protect the exposed wire with heat shrink tubes or electric tapes to prevent short circuit. To connect the button, we need to find out the layout of the pins on the motherboard. You can find the details in the user manual of the motherboard. For my board, the pin out looks like this. Simply plug the pins in and the button should just work. Excellent. Okay, so that's how you make a wire button for your PC. And now you have the power to turn it on and off remotely. However, it's gonna be a bit hard dealing with the cable coming from the PC all the way to the button. Fear not. We can also make a wireless version of this button. And let me show you how. First. We need two microcontrollers with Wi-Fi capability. I've selected ESP8266. They can be found on Amazon for less than $6 each if you buy 5 pieces together. Next, we need to tell the microcontrollers what to do by uploading some code to them. Don't worry, no programming knowledge is needed for this part. I've put a simple guide on my GitHub repository in the link below. Download the repository which contains the code before moving forward. Next, if you don't have the Adreno IDE yet, head over to their official website and download one for installation. After that, open Adreno program. Go to File, Preferences and put this URL into the additional board's manager URLs. This tells the program where to find the ESP board's information. Then we need to go to Tools, Board, Board's Manager, and in the search bar, type in ESP8266 to find the board package. Click Install. Close the board manager, and then go to Tools again. Select Boards. An ESP8266 board option should show up. In that, 
select the genetic ESP8266 module. Then select the tools again and go to port. Plug your ESP controllers to your computer and a new COM port should show up in the selection. In my case, it's COM5. Now all the setup is done. Let's open up the code from the downloaded repository and click the upload button to compile and upload it to the microcontroller. The in PC code is for the one that connects to your motherboard and the in button code is for the button module. I have also 3D printed the case for the button module. You can find the STL files of the case in the repository. You can also use cardboard or even wooden materials if you like. I have also painted them silver to match with the color of my desk. Now the final assembly of the button module. I have soldered four short wires with jumper pins to the button terminals, similar to its wired version. The connections between the button and the ESP board look like this. Short circuit protection is also needed in this case. The assembly of the case is put together using M3 screws and nuts. To attach the button to the desk, I have used a magnet. A short micro B cable is used for the power. You can also use a battery pack to make it truly wireless. For the ESP board in the PC, I have used a breadboard. The connections between the ESP and the motherboard look like this. Time to test it out. Great. Now the long press to turn it off. Excellent. 
I started this project because my PC is far away from my desk due to my triple monitor setup. Now I never have to reach over in order to turn on my PC anymore. Overall, I'm really happy with this remote power button that I made. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think about this project in the comment section below. As always, if you like this video, please smash that like button. And if you like to see more projects like this one, please consider subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!